this is Donna. Welcome to my channel, Restore Glory. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I, uh, I've i been absent. I know I have. I say that periodically throughout the year because my job, my, my full-time job, just takes me away from reselling and I don't like it. I don't like it. Don't like it. <laughs> I wish I could do this full-time, but nonetheless, I actually try to get videos in when I can and I actually have a couple of videos. I'm going to try to pump out three because I had some some good thrifting days and i found some amazing amazing stuff i um i'm a little sad this week guys i just wanted to let uh let you guys know that my my wonderful fur baby duchess she passed away on tuesday and um i'll put her picture up here if i can <laughs> but anyway i just i miss i miss her immensely and uh it wasn't that it was um expected because she had been failing for a good little while i got her in 2000 and seven so she was she was quite the senior and uh she was my she was my pumpkin she was absolutely my pumpkin and i just miss her immensely it's just the presence of her being around is just is 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 felt we actually have another dog roscoe he's a rescue and he's like a big hound and lovable and he you know you can, he's been acting so just t attachy kind of clingy for like the last couple of days and uh, my husband said, yeah, he's, he, he knows that she's no longer here. And so it's very, very, very sad for all of us. And, it, and, and you guys, if you have fur babies and, and pets, whether or not they're four-legged or, or whatever, you know that feeling of um, them no longer here. So anyway, I, uh, I have, I'm much better today than I was on Tuesday and Wednesday. And, uh, and so I'm just, you know, just very, very thankful for the years that we did have with her. So enough of all of that. Anyway, I, um, I do have a couple of hauls guys. Thank you again for stopping by my channel. I'm not going to talk a lot. I'm just going to go right into it again. I have my Etsy and my eBay shop listed here on the bottom. If you guys see anything before I get list, before I get it listed, just shoot me an email excuse me, we can work it out from there. I will tell you guys that my Etsy shop is still on a little bit of a hiatus because uh, I got behind on so many things on Etsy. And so what I decided to do was kind of revamp my Etsy shop. And it's just basically going to be plush and, uh, what did I call it? Plush and pottery. It's just going to be plush and pottery. So while I'm on vacation, I'm going to revamp it and everything on Etsy uh, that's not plush and pottery, I'm gonna move it over to my eBay store. But in the meantime, you guys can go and peek around and see what I have. You won't be able to purchase anything for at least another another two weeks until I can get it together. But certainly um, feel free, if, if you check out my eBay shop and some of these items are not listed, just shoot me an email. I'll put all of my email information down here in the bottom and then I will send you an invoice and we'll go from there. All right, sound okay? All right, guys, thank you so much. Alrighty, so you know, sometimes I feel like I'm still at work because I do I'm on video a lot <laughs> and I'm always, you know, acting like I'm at work. So this is the fun stuff that I love doing. So <sighs> boy, take a deep breath. Alright, guys. So the very first item I'm gonna show you is this beautiful, it's called uh, it's uh it's uh it's um I'm pretty sure this was specific to Buck Hill, Pennsylvania. Buck Hill, PA. I've seen these with a bunch of um, names and cities and states on. I actually think I've seen some that said happy anniversary or 50th anniversary or 10th anniversary. So, but I just thought this was super cute. Nothing. I think I paid 99 cents for this little baby and it was super cute. It doesn't glow. It's a little tape smudge on it. But if anybody's from Buck Hill, Pennsylvania or was born in Buck Hill, Pennsylvania, this will be kind of sort of cute little souvenirs. No chips or cracks on it. I love that beautiful green color. I thought that was pretty cool. The next item is a uh, Blue Sky Salt and Pepper Shaker. Uh, this was originally $21 uh, retail. Um, I don't even remember how much I paid for it. But anyway, it's a Blue Sky Salt and Pepper Shaker. I'm not going to take it out of the packet, but you guys can pretty much get the gist of what they look like. These are, I think these are poppies. If I remember correctly, these are poppies. I think, but this is so cool. And um, I think when I look these up, as you can see the Blue Sky um, uh, label there, but um, when I look these up, these babies were selling for about $24. And I'm like, okay, yes, please. So that was that. Uh, the next item is a beautiful, beautiful, actually this was wrapped up and buried inside of something. I'm so glad I opened it up because I never would have found it. 
It is a shell box. Excuse me. Excuse me. It's a shell box. And uh, it has a bunch of beautiful shells on it. I'm gonna show you the inside. I believe this is I believe this is vintage. Just by the way it looks on the inside and on the bottom, the felt on the bottom. But I just thought this would be super cool in a um a ocean or a beach theme home decor. This thing is in great condition. I don't see any chips or you know broken shells, and I just thought this was super cool. And it's been a while since I, I got all these items, guys. So I don't even remember where I got them from. If I remember, I'll I'll try to remember, but I don't think I remember where I got most of this stuff from because it's been a while. I was on travel for my job and I just been so behind. All right, guys, the next set of items, these were all in a baggie. It also came with some other things in a baggie, but they were all broken, but these were intact. These are little mini, I'm gonna call them ornaments, but they could also be sun catchers, if you will, for, for the Christmas holiday season. And I'll show you them one by one. They were all in the baggie. I think it was $2.99. So this one is kind of cool. Hold on a second. This one says made in Hong Kong. It has a made in Hong Kong sticker right there, but that one's kind of cool. I'm gonna sell all of these together. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna split them up. This one is actually my, I love Cardinals. I just love, love, love Cardinals. But isn't that cool? Just love all of these. And then this one is Bells. Isn't that cool? And then this one, Sorry, this one is a, what is this thing? A star, uh, is that fruit? Yeah, uh, yes. I'm so sorry, I was just trying to tell is that fruit, but I guess it is. Yeah, it is fruit. Star with some fruit. And then the last one is just a wreath with some fruit. And all of these say uh, made in Hong Kong. So these are absolutely, absolutely vintage, right? So it's a set of, how many, how many did I count? One two, three, four, five, and six. I have six of these, right? Perfect for the Christmas holiday season. The next uh, thing I'm gonna show you is a couple of brass pieces. So I actually listened to George the Antique Nomad quite a bit, you know I do, and he, on a couple of his uh, past videos and even uh, current videos, he says brass is making a big com comeback. And so I've been picking up brass like crazy. I've been finding it like crazy, which is great. This particular piece um, was $1.99. I got it from Goodwill, as a matter of fact, I still have the sticker on it. This one, it says, give me one second, it says made in Germany. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that little sticker right there, but look at this. Isn't that beautiful? It's like a little, little dish, little trinket dish, a little candy dish. And um, it may not be fully brass now that I'm looking at it. It may be, I don't know, maybe it's silver plated because I do see some of the silver coming through. So this may be silver plated with gold overlay or something like that. But nonetheless, it's still very, very pretty. This one may not necessarily be brass, but this one is brass. This one is absolute brass, right? I'm gonna try to uh, not get it in the camera with the light, but isn't that absolutely gorgeous? I love this piece, guys. It is absolutely stunningly beautiful. I can see you having this, uh, putting some uh, some pieces on this. Guys, I'm going to show you. I still have my friend's t-shirt on today. D, how you doing? Remember D? Oh, well, of course you guys know D with the uh, Thrill of the Thrift. She's my buddy. I bought this t-shirt from her a while ago, and uh, this is her t-shirt. How you doing? I love it. So it's purple is my favorite color. She's one of my favorite people. So why not? All right. So back to the back to the haul. So this is brass, complete solid brass. Um, I guess this is called reticulated uh, edge, and uh, I can see buildings putting some brass pieces in this, putting a some type of greenscape in this, or mixing it with some other mid-century modern pieces. I love brass. I'm beginning to love brass actually. And the next piece is brass as well. This actually was buried in something too. I had it wrapped up in some newspaper. So glad I looked at it because I'd usually ball newspaper up and I have a big old bag of newspaper because I use it for stuffing when I'm shipping stuff out. But isn't this cute? It is a brass porpoise. And the base of it, I believe is marble. Here's the bottom. I believe this baby is completely, completely vintage. 
and he's kind of heavy too. Yes, brass has been selling like crazy for me and I'm kind of sort of totally digging it. The next piece is brass too. Now I think this is what they call it, Hollywood Regency, I believe. So it's a cherub that's uh, holding a dish. I believe that something was, I believe that this was, had some type of piece on the top, right? When I got it, it had that green yucky floral foam in it. I think somebody uh, turned this into like a planter. But I believe, see that little stem? I believe that this was a t something attached to this. I don't know whether or not it was a glass or something like that, but I don't know. But in any event, I just thought this was super cool and it's just a single. I didn't find enough. See, still some of that green stuff. I gotta clean some of that smudge off. But nonetheless, it is still, still kind of cool and cute. So, um, and again, it's brass. I believe this is brass. So I'm glad I picked that piece up. I don't remember how much I paid for it. I think I got this from, I think I got it from the Goodwill. I'm not really sure. All right, the next piece, guys, I actually, next set is a set of dishes. I, I found six of these, guys. Six of these for $6.99. And one of these, one of these plates are selling on eBay right now for, I want to say, 12 or, 11 or $12 for one. And I have six. So the name of the company is called Royal Limited Holly, Holly, Holly Holiday, right? Can you guys see that? Made in Japan, right? And it has this beautiful, uh, beautiful, stunningly beautiful gold trim and holly and berry. This is perfect for the holiday season. These are definitely 10 and 3 quarter inch plates. They are huge, as you can see. And I have six of them. Six of them for $6.99 and one of them one of them is selling on eBay um, for, I think it was like either 11 or $12 for one. So if you are ready to dine in beautiful Christmas and holiday decor, and you wanna spruce up your uh, dining decor, I think these plates would look amazing. So I'm just gonna show you just two of them, but isn't that beautiful? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I have six of them, six. Excuse me, guys. <laughs> All right. All right, so the next item is something that's animated, and I paid $2.99 for this, baby. I can't help but pick these pieces up. I find them quite often, and I sell them quite often, actually, because it's kind of sort of kitschy, and people love them. So it's musical, and it's like a, uh, what do you call this thing? Um, like a mechanical animated snow globe, right? So I'm going to try to play this, and hopefully you guys, you guys can hear it and see it lit up. <laughs> so it plays different songs i totally totally love this i believe this is give me one second is this jimmy yep it is jimmy g-e-m-m-y if you guys know me i love jimmy i've sold a ton of it all sold a ton of it over the last couple of years and these little kitschy little christmas things really really do well and uh, I was kind of mad at myself because when I first put the batteries in, this was again two ninety nine. When I first put the batteries in, they weren't working. I'm like, oh god, two ninety nine. And I said, okay, fine, Donna. If if it doesn't work, you can you know redonate it back or something. And somebody maybe just wants it for decor. But apparently, I think I had the batteries in wrong, or my batteries were not dead. So I said, okay, I let I let it sit for like a couple of days. And I said, you know what? I was just sitting down and. And I, I got some fresh batteries and I put the batteries in and it worked completely, completely fine. So anyway, sorry about that glass, but this glare, but this is completely kitschy and cute. And uh, somebody's absolutely gonna want this for their home decor for to, to delight their family and their kids. I love this, these things. Excuse me guys, sorry about that. Uh, the next item I'm gonna show you is something I believe I got from Goodwill, yep. And it is a, what do they call these things? Um, Day of the Dead, Day of the Dead, uh, Nutcracker. So she's a Nutcracker. <laughs> and uh, so I'm going to save her for the Halloween season. I don't think that she looks scary. I mean, you know, I don't think she looks scary, but um, I'm going to go ahead and list her. And, you know, maybe somebody may want her as a part of her Halloween decor. And I do realize it's a skeleton and, you know, not my jam, but some people love these, these cute little uh, figurines or whatever. And on top of the fact that she is a Nutcracker. Isn't that cool? 
here's the back her mechanism here and I think this was something from I thought I saw it was from JC Penny which went out of business yep JC Penny for Halloween yep alrighty then so that's that so the another one this this next piece is another Halloween type decor this one <laughs> came from TJ Maxx and so believe it or not guys this was in the Goodwill for a good little while it had been sitting up on the shelf and I saw it a couple of times I'm like no you don't need anything else Halloween you have a whole big supply of Halloween stuff don't get it well as it turns out um this one actually went like it was on one of those days where I think it was was it 50%? I think it was 50% off. So I didn't pay. I paid next to nothing. So here's the original TJ Maxx sticker, as you can see. This was originally $16.99. And I think I paid $2.99 for it. Oh, it was half of the $4.99. So what is that? I don't, I can't do the math. Five, two fifty. Two fifty for these uh witches boots. And um, yeah, there's, oh, I didn't even notice that was a spider. Oh my God, I did not even notice that. That kind of sort of freaked me out a little bit. See the spider and uh, the red and black. And yeah, so this was a TJ Maxx piece. And uh, I just thought this was super kind of cool for Halloween. Again, Halloween is not my jam. I don't celebrate Halloween. I don't decorate for Halloween, but, but nonetheless, I think that somebody who loves to decorate for Halloween uh, we'll find these cute little, cute little boots, pointy witch's boots, all in fun, right? So I thought that was super cool for two fifty. Why not? So why not? Give me a second. Go there, darling. All right, this next piece, I'm gonna move some of this stuff over. Give me a second. Oh my god, I forgot I had some more brass. I had some more brash. brass, brass, brass. All right, so this next piece, guys, I got this from Second Avenue Thrift Store. And um, I was so excited because when I first looked this baby up, I thought it was going to glow. It did not glow, right? But I am very confident that this is, is vintage. It may even be antique milk glass. Um, it is a beautiful, I think this style is called reticulated edge. And um, it's just like a little, little plate, right? And I know that they're collectors of milk glass and I just love that. I believe this is more antique than it is vintage. There's no maker's mark on the back of it. When I did look uh, this up or I tried to look it up and do a little bit of research on it, I saw something very similar and uh, it sold and it was identified as antique. It looked very, very similar to this. And um, so I think that's probably how I'm going to list it. Um, and then there was one that was kind of sort of like this too, and it did have uranium in it and it did glow. And that one sold for, I want to say about 50, 50 bucks. But this one, I still think there's someone who loves milk glass. It's going to love, love, love this beautiful milk glass dish. So that's that. Back to the brass. All right. So I found this beautiful brass piece. This one, I... I'm not going to be able to read that label on the bottom right now, but nonetheless, it is a brass, I'm going to call it a, what do they call it, a stag, right? He's a little, he's a little dusty, but I got to dust him off a little bit, but he is heavy too, good grief. And there is a label on the bottom, I cannot make out that name, I'll just show it to you real quick, but, um, but he's very heavy. He will be perfect too for your holiday season decor, right? Lots of brass. I told you, brass is, brass is in. Now, this piece actually made me super duper giddy. On the bottom of this thing, it says uh, made, in, made in England. Let me just show you the mark on the bottom. It says made in England. And if I remember correctly, I think George the Antique Nomad, you know I love him. Um, I think he, uh, he found one of these pieces or like... I don't remember. I, I'm kind of remembering him finding something similar to this. It's just a planter, right? It's a planter. And it's made out of brass, right? And it definitely does say made in England on the bottom. When I look this one up, these little brass planters do really super duper well. Now, I noticed that it definitely does have a split raptor, raptor. I don't know how that happened. Maybe they had some other heavy piece in it and it just kind of expanded and put the split in it. 
but of course I would note that in the listing, but nonetheless, I'm not gonna polish it up. I'm just gonna wipe it down and kind of sort of clean it up a little bit. There's definitely some patina, um, but still nonetheless, a very, 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 very pretty piece. I love, love, love that piece. All right, the next item I'm going to show you is, I have to show you in pieces. So the first piece is this acrylic, I'm gonna call it a uh, nativity or crush, if you will, but it's made out of acrylic, right? And there's the, na the nativity star. So it was a three piece, that's how I found it, it was a three piece. And I paid up for this a little bit, but I'm kind of sort of glad I did. Get off. All right, so here are the little figurine pieces that were with this, uh, with that uh, acrylic piece. So it's the um, uh, Mother Mary and the baby Jesus and Joseph, right? And these are uh, Hawthorne Village Holy Family, Hawthorne Village Holy Family Joseph and Hawthorne Village Holy Family Mary and the baby Jesus, right? So, um, so apparently there is a whole set of, uh, of this nativity scene. I think there's some shepherds and, um, some animals. It was a, it's a whole set. And that whole set, I think I saw selling on eBay for about $75, $80 for the whole set of all of the figurines. Um, uh, but I only have, uh, the most important characters. <laughs> I have these two and um and i have the acrylic the acrylic um the acrylic i don't know what you call this the acrylic base to this right so they sit here and i believe all the other figurines would would sit around it or whatever but nonetheless i thought this was super cool and i think it'll still do well for christmas i'm pretty sure this hawthorne village guys hawthorne village if you guys see these if you see Hawthorne Village and you see the nativity set, pick them up because they do really, really, really well on eBay. So I think these will do well, even though I paid up for these. I still think that's, that this three-piece set will do well because of the, the main characters, if you will. All right, guys, the next piece I found is by Gilcraft. It's a container by Gilcraft, New York. That's the mark on the back. And this is totally mid-century modern, right? It is a... Uh, ice bucket. It's an insulated ice bucket, right? It's in fairly decent condition, guys. There are a few dings and a few scratches on it, but for the most part, it will display well in your vintage mid-century modern home. I just thought this was so super cool, and I actually walked by it. I couldn't even believe that uh, another reseller didn't pick it up. It was actually where was it? I want to say it was like over, yeah, it was over in the right section. Sometimes you, these things aren't in the right section, but it was. And I'm so glad that I kind of sort of did a double check. I said, well, that looks interesting, right? And I'm so glad I did. And I'm so glad I picked it up. And uh, because even though there's a few dings, like right there, there's a few dings and scratches, it still will display well in your vintage mid-century modern home decor. I just thought this was super duper cool. All right, guys, so that is it. That is my haul. As you can see, I have found lots of brass and lots of uh, stuff for Halloween and, you know, some Christmas stuff and the shell and, and the, of course, the uh, milk glass plate. So anyway, this was a good haul. Again, th these are things that I have been holding on to for like the last couple of weeks just because I've been traveling and working uh, for my job and I just had an opportunity just to kind of sort of breathe. Thank God I don't have any meetings or any traveling for the summer for the first time in a very, very long time. I can I can kind of sort of breathe and I can, uh, you know, just relax a little bit. My husband and I are actually going to go, um, we're going to be on vacation this coming week and we're going to go hopefully to the beach later next week. We just have some house stuff that we need to do and get, get situated first. And, um, yeah, so got to take care of my duchy too and make sure she's situated in our backyard and um, and get that all settled before we go away. But anyway, it is going to be a much, much, much needed vacation. All right, guys, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I totally appreciate it. Um, again, if you guys see anything uh, that's in this video that I have not posted on my eBay shop, just send me an email and I'm happy to send you an invoice so we can go from there. And I will remind you that my Etsy shop is um, actually, I think what I'm going to do is put that, rather than keep repeating it, I'm going to put that in the description just to say that my Etsy shop is on hiatus a little bit. And again, I'm just explaining it to you one more time. Um, it's I haven't deactivated my Etsy account. I just got a little behind on listing. And so I decided to 
close it down uh, just for for a period of time until I can revamp it. And the plan is that all the only thing that I'm going to uh, list on Etsy is just plush and pottery. I have lots of plush and lots of pottery. And I think I'm just going to focus on those two niches in my Etsy shop. And everything else is going to go to my eBay shop. All right, guys. All right, thank you so much, guys. You have a wonderful, wonderful evening. I will talk to you soon. Smooches.